It has finally happened. After almost two years of modding, I received the Leafs of Death next to my settings, which means I have officially been flagged in BTD6. I'm assuming it's for the modding, because when I looked it up, it seems like it's for the modding, but I didn't even know what was going on. Over the weekend, I was camping, and what do you do when you cannot sleep? You play Bloons TD6. So I couldn't sleep, I was in the middle of nowhere, but somehow still had service. So I started playing the races, and I thought I was doing pretty good. For being pretty bad at this game, and in terms of races, well, and I guess a lot of other things too, but I'm really bad at races, but I thought I was doing pretty good. I had a boomer, I sped up the game pretty quickly. And I got what I thought was a pretty, pretty solid score, to be honest. And so what happened was I sit there and I upload my scores. I thought I did. And then it says score cannot upload to leaderboards. I'm like, oh, you know, that makes sense. Like I am in the middle of nowhere. Like maybe it just loaded up for a second, but then it lost service. So now we can't like take this back and I'll have to do it again. Or maybe it'll upload later. I was actually kind of bummed, to be honest, because like late at night and I finally did good at a race. And I'm like, you know, you're not going to upload my score. Like, does it come back later? Or am I just totally just not OK on this one? So then what did I do? I used the race pass because I wanted to try it again. I'm like, no, I can't just take this one. I got to We got to do better than that. So I tried it again, thought maybe, okay, if I'm just in service, I'll airplane mode and then unairplane mode, you know, the whole shebang. And I even did this cool little thing with the sub and I blasted it to the big guy right there. And I know you're not supposed to speed up when you're playing this, but I speed it up because I just like to live dangerously because then once you get main Moab, you're good to go. There we go. Then we could speed this up to 49 even and then grab a farm. I think we're safe for that. And then Benjamin's helping so much. These guys are the best, but you can't sell. So you're kind of like Ugh, on that one, but we can just go like this one right there. Put this guy here. I think we can go to like 55, 56 right here with what we got. This guy is so good on his own. And then once we get the, the big banger tax zone, we're going to be chilling. So we can just bust this one up to like the millions right now. 62. Let's do 62 for now. Put one of these guys here for cleanup just in case things get a little too crazy. We will out buff this guy as well. Let's village it too. I think we could take this one pretty far, right? Or no, 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 no. We'll go like this and we'll go like that. Dude, this guy's taking them out. Oh my goodness. Should we just go for the whole thing at this point? Yeah, let's just do it. We'll get this one too. If we could turn him into Glive Lord, we'll be totally chilling. Let's see if we can get it. 29. <laughs> is it going to be dead by that time? There we go with our Glive Lord and game is officially over for that one. We just have to like take these things down. So let's just do this and put a lot of them here, I guess. But the point of the matter was that I did pretty good for once. Finally got a good score. At least I, it wasn't a great score. It's not like leaderboard worthy or anything, but it was great for me and it was an easier map. And then it says can't submit race results. And I thought it was because I was out in the middle of nowhere. It says your score was not submitted as it could not be verified. So I did this a few, a few more times, actually a few. <laughs> And I'm like, what's going on? And then I noticed this little leafy thing next to my thing, but I got no other notification. I didn't get like a notification saying like, hey, you're a cheater. Get out of this game or hey, big loser. Get out of my face. None of that happened at all. So I'd like to see if the same thing happens to the boss vent, but as you can see, I failed on tier three because I couldn't make it as far as I wanted to. I thought I was pretty good with a cool strategy that just didn't work how I planned. These least tier things are no joke. Let's be real. I thought I was just going to come in here, grab like a, maybe a plane for the first tier or a sniper and then grab a mad for the second tier. And then the third tier, I was like, oh, I'll get the big plane. And it wasn't even a big plane and a mad were not enough to take this guy down. I thought that was the most wickedest thing I've ever seen in this game. So I am on ranked and I would like to see what happens. So then I went to Google and typed in leafs around my settings after I saw it. Cause I was like, what's going on? This sounds like the infamous ban hammer here that's been dropped on me. And it says Bloom CD6 uses an anti-cheat system to make sure that players who play unfairly are separated from players who play legitimately. This ensures that the game remains fair and fun for everyone. Your account may be flagged for reasons such as using a third party program, using any mods, I've done that many a times, and using a pirated game client. I don't know what the pirated game client is or a third party program. I think that's what I'm using for mods, that would make sense. This even can includes mods which don't directly affect gameplay such as four times speed, which is all I ever use because my modding in particularly has lost me tons and tons and tons of monkey men. I used to have over 100,000 monkey men. I have like 40,000. So if anything, I've lost from modding, not gained. But it says when you're flagged, you'll be unable to take part in contested territories, public co-op lobbies, or online boss leaderboards. But not races. Doesn't say nothing about races. But here's the craziest part. The simplest way to start playing legitimately is to create a new account. This can be done easily by logging out of your system account from the main menu settings menu. So I did that. I was like, you know what? I can't like redo 4,000 hours of in-game play. That would just be madness, but I can make a new account to mod. And then like, hopefully maybe if by the goodness gracious of Ninja Kiwi's heart, they will unban me from this game. I will only use my modding account from now on. I was always told to use my modding account 
but just out of sheer laziness, I never did. So that I will take full responsibility for. I could have made a, a, like a separate account, but before you couldn't just log out. I don't remember when that exactly changed. I never knew how to make an account. I knew you had to do stuff with like moving files around and I was shown how to do that, but it was still a lot harder than it seemed. So I never did it because again, I'm lazy. And then they made the logout thing. I'm like, oh, that's pretty cool. But then I still didn't do it because I'm just dumb and I've got away with it for that long. I was like, okay, no big deal. You know what I mean? It's just like, it's, I'm exempt maybe. But apparently, I don't think it's Ninja Kiwi themselves. I think it's like the in the game thing knows what's going on or something. So maybe I accidentally like clicked on a race or something. Like I can assure you that I've never played a boss event or a race to, I don't even think the races are available when you have mods on. I don't think it even shows up to be honest. But I know the boss, like I've done videos on the boss event, you know? with mods like, hey, can the modded tower beat this one? Or hey, can the Pokemon tower beat this one? But it was never for like internal gain or whatever, but I might've left it on ranked. Unless, can you even rank when you're on mod? I don't even think you can. So whatever reason, something I did was the straw to break the camel's back. And now I am flagged and I'm playing boss events just for the sheer fun of it. Not even to put my terrible leaderboard score on the leaderboard because when it says like you're one millionth place out of like one million and one people, I don't even get to show off and tell everybody that. It's just, hey loser, you're not even on here. But I haven't done the boss event yet with a flagged account, so I don't actually know what's gonna happen. Maybe it'll just be like super nice and put me on there. Do these least tier boss events stress anybody else out though? I try so hard in these and I'm like, okay, I can keep it so light and then I just get so scared and I end up losing everything. Like I think Sticky Bomb will take everything out, but with Lich, nothing takes out those big ugly Moabs, like nothing. So I, I bought like a sniper at one point, but then I was like, that's going to cost so much money. So should I just like not, and then maybe get like a, would a Moab shover, like Moab glue, hold that thing back. I never even noticed sometimes. So I'm actually going to try it. I'm going to grab a Moab shove and see if he can actually stop what's inside. Because if he can, which I don't think he can, right? The soul cannot. I just hope it's before round 40 that we figure this out because I don't want to spend continue money on this. Okay, let's see, can I stop it? No, you can't do any, you can't do anything with it. <laughs> You're just stuck with it. You can stop the mobs, I guess that's cool. Yeah, I guess that's something, but you can't do anything with this thing. But I think the snipe or the ninja can just do it on his own and oh, I can stop the little ugly ones. Okay, but just take it down, there we go. But then of course I want the mad, like the mad is the main tower I want. So I need to get like a, oh my gosh, pop that thing, dude. What are you doing? There's no chance at this working right now. We're going to have to just get totally wrecked right here. Let's grab a uh, dartling gunner. Put him right here, I guess. Dude, you really can't take that thing down? Oh my goodness. That's not good. So now the ninja's like way over there. We're totally going to get wrecked on. Okay, let's see. We got to take this guy out. Literally can't take him out. Like, dude, are you serious? Are you serious? Oh, we got it. We got it like last second. That's fine. Oh, I'll, I'll take that. Oh my gosh. That was like way too scary. So now we should be able to get the mad like before the next round, I believe. That's crazy. But then it was, I continued to read the flagged Ninja Kiwi page. It says tips for not getting flagged again. Do not use mods on your main account. Number one, should have done that. I didn't, my fault. Please create an alt account. Should have done that. Lazy, I didn't. Don't use pirated game clients. Don't know what that is. Let me know below what it is and don't copy save files between devices accounts. I think that's when you like, you're at the end of it, like you're on like round 98 and you save it somehow. I don't know how it works, but you save it and then you like go to a different game, like maybe your computer to your phone and it'll save 98 so you don't lose if you try something crazy like on a regular round to get those instas. I think that's what it was. And I think people in the past were going crazy with like round 100, you can get like unlimited instas by like redoing it or something like that. Not an expert. Oh my gosh, I just wasted a bunch of money. Not an expert on that, but I think it was something to do with that. Now we need to set Oban's tree here to make sure we don't get wrecked on. I'll put it like right here. How about that? will be like a cleanup thing. And we're actually going to have enough for this guy, which is really cool. Should I collect now though? I kind of don't want to. That's kind of a bummer. We just need a few dollars. Like it's nothing crazy. Like we're so close. I could have used this thing too, huh? I should have done that actually. Let's just collect and do it now just so I don't get wrecked on. And then we'll just control this guy ourselves. Oh my gosh, he's so good. Oh, but then we have to destroy those to move on, huh? You can't even... God, this, this boss is too hard for me. So let's just do that. Just get him out of here. The mat is so good, though. I think we're going to win with this guy now. So we took down that one pretty easily. What do we do for the rest, though? We need just something as like a general cleanup. Would it be good to use this one, the Flying Fortress, or is he not good enough? I was thinking like Ray of Doom would be cool, too. Or even like an anti balloon or probably Legend of the Night, huh? Or what if we went with an Apex? Can we get enough money from one farm to get an Apex? I, clear, I highly doubt that, but maybe... So we're at some kind of crossroads here because I don't know if it'd be beneficial to just get like a big plane or buy maybe like 
a dart monkey and then buy the apex plasma master down the road if we have enough money don't think we will and the other off chance is that like let's say i buy a big plane i'm like oh that's not enough so i need legend knight oh that's not enough so i need the anti balloon and then all of a sudden i could have just gotten apex and won the whole thing so what do we do what is the solution here i want to go with the plane but i tried that before and it just didn't work this time it will though we're gonna go with big plane we don't have enough for it yet, even close to enough for it but i think it'll be enough just to clean it up for now at least i hope anyway yeah, because the mad's still enough to take this guy down. So we have taken down the third tier, but as you can see, it's getting pretty close. So is the big plane going to be enough to change that up? I'm a little nervous about it. But now I just realized because we're in the 90s, I'm going to still need a village because this guy can't pop camo. So we're st now we're at 41 tiers. Is that bad? I feel like it's pretty bad. Let's see if these two are enough. And it looks good so far, honestly. I just don't know about the other guy. Those little skull guys that come out of there, but this might be okay. Oh, those DDTs. Oh my goodness. And look how much that takes out of there. That is insane. There's no chance of this working. This guy's hauling out of here. Let's try this one to change things up a little bit. We'll grab the sniper all the way up and like this one on first because he's just super strong. Yes. Okay. That's what we're looking for. It's something to just help out a little bit. Now we're a little close on this one. I'm worried about that last one. Can we take this out even? We did. Okay. That's good. That's good. I think we need to move this guy to over here somewhere so we can help out with whatever comes out of here. I don't know. Oh, I just used the, the bank on accident. Get it. Get it. Get it. Dude, come on. Come on. There we go. There we go. I think we got this one. Last down of the wire. Oh, my goodness. And we've had this deposit here the whole time. What are we going to use for this last one, though? Because we're going to have to buy stuff. You know what I could have bought instead of the sniper to begin with and made this a little bit easier on ourselves? I'm thinking I could have just gone with something cool like... Uh, spiked mines if we can afford spiked mines it's game over because i can just put it in this location and get it in like four different spots super mines that's what i mean the top one. Oh my goodness that would be awesome here we are round 119 with one hundred twenty-four thousand dollars. can we get it let's put this guy in range of that village here Ugh. okay what if we do this whole thing where we collect oh we don't even have enough if we sell it we'll have enough but i think we could do that little ability to make even more money right but we don't need the more money we could just sell it and buy this one there we go. And that should be enough. Like having super mines should be pretty good. <laughs> I guess we won't know until like 13 rounds from now and we lose. So we'll see. Why is that chain on him? Has that always been there? Like I know it's always been on Lich, but not these last few rounds has it. I didn't notice it. So we're completely 100% reliant on spike mines right now to beat this. That's what's kind of scary. So what maybe we should like get out of here and just let him do his thing. That's not gonna be enough, is it? Oh my goodness. That's so bad. It's not, it's literally not doing anything. Can you believe that? <laughs> Can you believe spending $125,000 just to get dunked on? What was probably the bad choice was a sniper, to be honest. That was probably my fault. I probably shouldn't have spent that much on him just to get not that good of a tower. Because now look at this. We can't even take down this guy. Like, we have four more of these left. That's not going to happen. We have to reach oh, it's $600. See, I waste so much money in this game. So this time I got the anti-tech tear, hoping that his little damage will do a lot. It's doing a lot of damage. I just don't think it's going to be enough, though, unfortunately. I don't know why I thought anti-tech balloon would be the, the shot here, but maybe. Dude, even he can't take these things down. These bosses are just too much, man. That was worse than Supermine. Now I blow another 600. There's 1,200 bucks right there. Dude, laser is even worse. I've had it pointed at him the entire time, and we just lose. Oh my goodness. I'm blowing so much money here, and I thought we were going <laughs> to... I thought we were trying to get least tears. I thought Legend of the Night would do something good, and he even E's really bad. This is sick. That's like $2,400. Tears were not my concern at this point, just not losing was. And I have spent all of my money here, and I'm hoping this will be enough. It looks like we're doing pretty good. I do have the flame guy here. I bought a second sniper, the cool fast one. And we're hoping that this will just take everything down, because if not, that's it. Oh my goodness, <laughs> so I'm done. To make the whole thing worse, I've banned and I'm bad. The bosses, even the normal ones, are just meant for the elite players now. How are you supposed to do least tiers and not get destroyed? But now I'm looking, I used the race pass and I don't even get to see what my score was. So not only am I not on the leaderboards, I don't get to see what my time was to improve on it. You're just dunked on, <laughs> just dunked. I wrote an email to Ninja Kiwi hoping that they would regain my account because that's 4,000 hours down the drain if not. But if you're watching this, bring my account back. I will never mod again on it. And if you enjoyed that, then check out this video where we find out if it's possible to get all seven Paragons before round 100 in Bloom's TD6.